Hi, Dr. Alina Kulchitsky, Boutique Body Works. Today I'm going to show you a very quick, easy summer salad that's delicious and healthy. Um, today I'm making this for dinner. I eat light in dinner and I eat lunch more like a dinner, heavier, and so that um, I'm preloading for the day and winding down as you are less active. So the salad is really simple. It's summer, the melons are in season and juicy and delicious. So we're gonna make a simple green salad with melon. And for protein, we're gonna use uh, queso fresco, which here in San Antonio is easily found in your supermarket, depending where you live, might be easier or harder to find. Uh, but it's kind of like a dense farmer's cheese and then also for protein are pinto beans So I pre-soaked my pinto beans Overnight rinsed them cooked them in my instapot. They've had nothing added to them. So they're free of salt or any fats so um, Keep that in mind so that you know exactly what you're putting in your meal Count what you've done to the things you're adding or if you're buying things pre-made such as canned beans They're gonna have at least quite a bit of salt in there so you might want to consider preparing your own in advance. Okay, so again, I'm going to show you from start to finish, including the ugly, minute details like getting things out of the fridge because I want to show you how much or little time it actually takes to make a nutritious meal. Okay, so it's not expensive or very time consuming to eat healthy. It just depends what you prepare. So right now it's 4.13 p.m. Okay. Now, we're going to get our ingredients. So, I've got my leafy greens already prepared. My pinto beans. My melon that I've been working on little by little. And my queso fresco. Okay, so... The greens are already cleaned. Um, these I got at my grocery store. They're um, the grocery store brand that I have, and it's organic. They're pre-cleaned. Uh, it's baby romaine lettuce blend. And I'm going to use exactly what's left over. Let's go down here so you can see and prepare. Oh, didn't like that, did it? Okay, there we go. So we're going to finish this off. I don't know about you, but when I eat salad, I hate having giant leaves. So I like to just tear mine up to smaller pieces. Here, the crunch. I love it when your greens are nice and crunchy crisp like that. They're fresh. That's when they're going to be nutrient dense and not have all the nutrients have evaporated and oxidized on you. So when you buy your leafy greens, you don't let them sit there too long or get slimy either, right? Okay, so we're going to dress this a little bit first, just very simply. Olive oil. So I've got my cold-pressed extra virgin olive oil that's cold-pressed on site where the people that grow it also um, cold-press and prepare it. That makes a difference in the quality of your olive oil. And we're just going to toss that so that everything has got a little bit of a coating of healthy fats to help the flavors of what else we add stick to it. Okay, next. Again, I said very simple, and I didn't lie, Redmond salt. So it's got a lot of min mineral in Redmond salt, so a little sprinkle because it comes from Utah, salt baths um, from the Tri Triassic period of dinosaurs, ancient salts. A um, little bit of cracked pepper there, and that's it. You could put some lemon juice, freshly squeezed. You could also put some, um, what do you call it, apple, apple cider vinegar or balsamic vinegar even would be nice. Actually, let's do the beans first. So I've got in here about, about half a cup. Just 
sprinkle that on. And the melon. I'm gonna cut two slices about this thick, wide. Right now the melon is so juicy and flavorful, so that's what I'm using as my flavor. The healthy fats of the olive oil are to help you absorb the nutrients from your leafy greens. Salt and pepper just enhance flavor. Since I don't have any salt already in my beans or anything, it's okay to add a little bit for flavor. Do be aware of having too much salt because too much salt not only is bad for blood pressure, but also can cause you to produce fructose. It makes us produce fructose, which guess what? That um, raises insulin and also affects your kidneys, which is why chronic kidney disease is becoming an epidemic. It's not just because of high sugar intakes, which definitely will do that, but also high salt. And they add salt, you guessed it, to all processed foods. So try not to eat processed foods. Try to make your own like your beans. Don't buy them in a can because they're going to come full of salt, increasing your production, self-induced production physiologically of fructose, creating over time um, obesity and because that causes weight gain and kidney disease. A lot of people are not aware of that fact. Okay, and we're almost done. Next is the queso fresco. Let me just put this in the fridge right away. To prevent microbial growth. Now, uh, melon, um, though it has sugar in it, it's natural sugars in fruits. The amount of fructose is not a lot, depending which kind of fruit, of course. But also, did you know that when we absorb the fructose from fruit, we only, the first three or four percent doesn't get absorbed. So that's a bonus to eating your sugars naturally when you get them from fruit as opposed to processed sugars. So I'm cutting off a slice about this big of my queso fresco. Again, it's um, a grocery store brand, H-E-B. Now there is some salt in here for sure. So this is part skim milk and enzymes. Oh, actually there's no salt in this, although it has a salty flavor. So it's pretty simple ingredients, only two ingredients. So for processed food, that's not bad, two ingredients. Um, let's see the serving size here. Uh, for uh, 20 grams or one ounce is seven grams of fat and sodium 180 milligrams so it does naturally have uh, salt in there one gram of carbohydrate six grams of protein so I'm going to crumble this onto my plate You could also add some pumpkin seeds. Nuts and seeds are healthy fats, high in fiber, and they are good for us for many reasons, for brain health, for gut health, also um, production of hormones because we need healthy fats for hormone production. And it also provides us with protein. Also to know about kidney disease is not eating a high protein diet. Yes, I said it. Dare I say that. High protein diet. Why is it bad? Well, because of what I just talked about with how it stimulates um, the fructose production physiologically as well as then how that affects your kidney function. Um, plant protein is different. So if it's animal protein in the form of red meat you want to limit your sources of protein from red meat or processed protein like your protein powders which are oh so popular so better to get your protein in other ways okay next uh, let's add some seeds I like to use just raw organic pumpkin seeds Three tablespoons have about 20 grams of protein. 
I'm not going to add that because much because that's a lot of seeds, but maybe we're getting about half that. So between what's naturally in the plants and then the beans, cheese, and pumpkin seeds, we've got at least 20 grams of protein in this salad. Yes, kid knew not. Okay, and we're done. So that what it's now 422. So it didn't even take 10 minutes to make this meal. Hang on. There we go. Sorry, it's hard for me sometimes to orient myself with this thing. So yeah, um, you've got a plant-based meal we do have plant-based, not vegan, right? Because we have cheese in there. So you could skip that and use vegan cheese or other nuts, a mixture of nuts and seeds for your protein if you wish. You could make a nice dressing using tahini or nut butters with um, blended with different things like your olive oil and uh, vinegars or lemon juice or lime juice. That's another way to get more protein in there. But this is a really nice, simple way. It took me nine minutes. That's it. And I have a full, complete um, meal other than there's no grains. Yes. So I did have brown rice at lunchtime with my meal. So I did have some grains today. But I eat low, low carb. I don't tend to eat a lot of grains. But you do want to eat them because they do have, you want to eat some and make sure that they're whole, not processed. So yes. And then we've got the orange, you know, from the cantaloupe which is lycopene and beta carotene so those are antioxidants which actually also help you deal with cholesterol so um, antioxidants are important for lots of reasons cancer prevention um, but there's more than just that reason and so make sure you eat the rainbow different colors but today we're using orange green and our beans <laughs> and that's it so a super healthy meal gives you an idea how to make something healthy, um, filling, and to prevent disease of all kinds, and simple and easy. It didn't take much time at all, not even 10 minutes. Hope that helps to give you some ideas, and be sure to check my other recipe ideas. You can go to my YouTube channel, to my website, and to my Instagram. Thank you. Bye for now.